Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. Okay, let's proceed to the next method to solve root of nonlinear equation, which is second method. Okay, remember the aim is to find the solution of x so that f x equal to zero. Okay, we want to find the root of solution of f x. Okay, this method is an open method which may converge or may not converge. However, if this method converge, it is faster than bisection and, and newton Raphson method. Okay, this method, uh, second method, use two initial gas. Okay, xi and so xi minus 1. Okay, second line. Okay, it's the straight line joining two points on a function. Okay, let's say this is our fx. This is the graph of fx. Okay, the line that connect P0 and also P1. Okay, this line is called the second line. Okay, to determine the next point, we use this formula. And we stop the iteration when okay, the point is repeated or fx approach to 0. Okay, let's look at example 8. Solve x square. This is our function fx using second method with initial value x1 uh, and also 2. So for second method, we have two initial uh, values. And use for decimal places in all calculation. For second method, draw table that contain i, i, x, i and also f, x, i. First, we start with zero. It is a first, first iteration which is, okay, the first value, okay, the first initial value equal to 1 and then substitute 1 in f, x. New calculator, press alpha, x, then square. Minus 3, cal 1, equal to negative 2. And then for second iteration, we choose the second initial value, which is 2. And then substitute 2 in fx, then we get 1. To determine the next point, or to determine x2, Okay, we use this formula. So, x2 equal to x1 minus fx1 multiply with x1 minus x0 divided by fx1 minus fx0. Okay, x1 is 2. So, 2 minus 1, so 2 minus 1, okay, x, 2 minus this 1, then divide by 1 minus minus 2. Then, use a calculator, then we will get x2 equal to 1.6667. Okay, here. Then you find, you substitute, okay, 1.667 in fx. Then you will get negative 0 0.22221. Okay, next you find x3. Okay, here. Find x3. Use the formula. 1.6667 minus a negative 0 0.2221 okay. 1.6667 minus 2 divided by negative 0 0.2221 minus 1 and then we we'll get x3 equal to 
and you will proceed the iteration until you can see here the that the point is repeated you stop at uh, x5 so the root of fx is approximately x5 okay, which is 1.7321 Okay, next we proceed to um, fixed point iteration method. Okay, fixed point of a function is the element of the function's domain that is mapped to itself by the function. If P is a fixed point for a given function GX, okay, P equal to GP. Okay, look at the figure here. Okay, let's say this is uh, our function at uh, gx. Okay, p here is the fixed point if if we substitute p in gx, so g p equal to p. Okay, so p is the fixed point. So basically, this method reformulate the uh, a non-linear equation f(x) to this form: x equal to g(x). Okay, for this method, for uh, iteration method, start with one initial guess, and we stop the iteration when the point is repeated. Okay, let's look at the convergence condition. If gx and g prime x are continuous for all interval a, b, okay, then the iteration process defined by this formula converge to a solution s if okay, the modulus of g prime x naught less than 1. Okay, where x naught is the initial, uh, okay, initial point, where where x naught and x belong in this interval. To determine the convergence, okay, you must first define g x, x equal to g x, then find g prime x, and then substitute x naught here, g prime x naught. Okay, must the modulus of g prime x naught must less than one, so that is converge. And look at the figures here. So figure, okay, this figure shows that we show that the process is uh, converge to a solution. Okay, distant. Okay, okay, so this is x naught, x one, x two x3, x4, x5. Okay. The distance is decreased. If the distance is increased, okay, based on these figures, then the solution is diverge. Look at example 9. You solve fx using fixed point iteration method with initial value x not equal to 1 and x equal to gx okay given okay, by this function used for decimal places in all calculations okay first okay find g prime x we have gx equal to 2x square plus 3 over 6 okay gx is from our function 2x square minus 6x plus 3 equal to 0. Okay. 2x square plus 3 equal to 6x. So x equal to 2x square plus 3 over 6. Okay. So gx here is from okay, our function. And then after that you determine g prime x. Okay, differentiate a g to uh, to x. 
and we get g prime x is 2 over 3x and then substitute the initial point in here and we get g prime 1 equal to 2 over 3 1 okay which is less than 1 we find that okay hence x i plus 1 okay use this formula x x x i plus 1 equal to g x i g x i yeah. replace x with x i so 2 x i square plus 3 over 6 use this uh, iteration process to find the, the next point okay so look at this, this table for fixed point iteration method we have three column okay i x i and the distance between two points okay first put zero iteration zero start with iteration zero and then our initial value is one for uh, second iteration one okay x one equal to 2x node square plus 3 over 6. Okay, x node is 1. So 2, 1 plus 3 over 6. 5 over 6. So x1 equal to 0 0.3333. So then you determine the distance between the two points. Get okay, 0, uh, 1 minus 0 0.8. 3 equal to 0 0.1667 proceed to find the next iteration the next x x2 okay, x2 you will use x1 x3 you will use x2 and proceed okay you will proceed until the points are repeated okay see here and, and the distance equal to 0. The root of this function is approximately 0 0.6340.